This is the two plus one escape from Let's Go Motorhomes. It's a six meter long vehicle, slightly shorter than the average sprinter that you might get from other companies. It's a Renault model, and I'm gonna show you right through the van, a quick overview of what it's like to rent this Let's Go Motorhome. Starting off in the uh, driver's cabin, it's a pretty standard setup. It's a little bit more luxurious than the Sprinter in my view. And it's got a, a weird semi-automatic gearbox, which is difficult to use, but you get used to it. Um, it's uh, quite powerful, a lot more powerful than most motorhomes. You can keep at 100 kilometers an hour up steep hills, no problem. It has a 100 liter fuel tank, which is massive. Most of them have a 75 liter tank. And so um, this, been really handy to have that big tank and the fuel efficiency of this van is probably the best i've ever had on any motorhome including the smaller high top vans that you get uh, this does uh we've been getting 9.7 liters per 100 kilometers the website says you should get about 15 so we do much better on this and i don't drive it slowly i drive it pretty hard so it's been excellent actually saves you a bunch of money because of that fuel efficiency it's got a standard sliding door rather than a normal front door. And here is the layout. It's a little bit shorter than a big, big van that you might get with a toilet and shower, but it's still plenty of enough room. You've got two burners. You've got all that storage down there as usual. That's your sink, but it also doubles as your chopping board because it doesn't have a lot of bench space. So it's nice to have that little closer enclosure there. You've got your storage all up the top air conditioner right there and then your bed which also converts into your dining area if you want but most people will just leave that like that for the entire trip the windows are pretty cool yeah they are different to a sprinter the sprinter would normally have just crappy windows but this one has these blinds that do this they make it warmer they're much better to use rather than just curtains so uh, a sprinter a mercedes sprinter that most other companies use just has those curtains on the back and on the sides and those curtains do nothing to protect you from the cold we have a microwave a fridge the fridge is powered by electricity only not gas we have a tv which is only usable when you're plugged into a campsite we have a radio that there is the hot water system now just a little word on that hot water system it's an instant hot water so when you turn, we just leave the hot water on the whole time. And when you turn on the shower, bang, you've got hot water instantly. You don't have to wait for it to boil up and that sort of stuff. I don't know what the mechanism is that's used, but it's much better than previous ones we've used. This little control panel is awesome. Um, basically, it tells you how much battery you've got left, how much is charging. Um, also, this thing has solar panels on the roof. So it tells you how much solar power is going on. It's like a trickle charge, that solar panel. It's, uh, it does something, um, but it's not massive. All the lights in here are that style, LEDs. They take up hardly any power, so you'll never run out of power, um, even if you don't plug into a campsite. Little features like this, little nets like that, they're really handy for things like, for us, for a headlamp, um, if you need to go out into the bush for it to go to the toilet or whatever or go look for firewood you just put your headlamps lamps up there a little storage space up there yeah um, this van actually comes equipped for free with um, camp chairs and table you don't have to pay extra for those the toilets in here toilet and shower yeah pretty standard it's a tiny bit smaller than some others but it's pretty good still And on the outside here, we have things like an awning, an outside light, um, another power outlet. And here you've got your water tank, which is 80 liters. Uh, and your toilet cassette is right there. A little word about the water tank. Uh, when you're on a, sitting on a bit of an angle in this thing, and it's not a big slope, you run out of water really quickly. So. It's an 80 litre tank, but you might only get 40 litres worth unless you back the van up and put it on a different tilt. That's a bit of, that's a real negative until you work out what the system is. So we worked it out that you needed to put the van on a backwards slope in order to get 
as much water out of there as possible and we were able to get two hot showers out of one tank yeah um, and then the pump started to run a bit a bit a bit dodgy so um, yeah you don't have as much water in this as some other vans and that's a that's a pretty big negative but if you're not doing too many showers in the van for most people it's not going to be that that big a deal um, other than that it's a great little van it's actually probably one of our favorite vans it's a slight step up from a high top um, it's narrow so it's not as wide as those big ones that you see from time to time and the good thing about that is that it's easier to drive you can whip it around those mountain bends without a problem and I prefer this van over every other van I've used even the more spacious ones because it's just that much easier to drive that it's such a big advantage I'll never go back to a big van again thanks for watching I'm Adam from Puragidulu I will catch you next time